Hi, Aaron. E. We sometimes count the seconds that we are on the train and down here. Our experiences are related to the time and the distance that we travel. Researchers at the NYU Tandon School of Engineering wanted to put some numbers and science behind some of those conditions, specifically the air on platforms and on the trains. I just finished up a conversation with one of the authors of the study. The professor at the engineering department tells me they gathered and tested samples from every platform stop along every line in New York City transit. They say they found higher levels of particulate, those kind of micro iron and metal rich particles that can lead to, sometimes to respiratory and health issues. They say their data show elevated levels in trains, even higher levels in platforms. The study then goes on to say longer commute times lead to higher exposure and then the problem with then disproportionately affect minority and low-income communities who have longer rides. The WHO World Health Organization guidelines is 15, so we're talking about 200 and 100 compared to 15. So that is one thing that we were alarmed with. The exposure is a function of concentration and duration of time, so those people who live further are exposed have higher exposure. The MTA issued a response to this uh, latest study calling it uh, recycled based on years old data uh, and it has long since been debunked. Every serious person, the transit agency says, knows transit is the antidote to climate change. The one reason NYC is the greenest city around and an engine of equity for people of all communities. The MTA does conduct uh, air quality tests and uh, monitors uh, air and air flow. Coming up uh, at five, some riders will add their thoughts uh, about long commutes, and the researchers have a message for the transit system.